Hello, so going to go through some um, key activation points that I recommend for my clients to do in between our sessions um, and to do at home to facilitate recovery, um, injury rehabilitation, release stress and uh, just speed up the healing process. So to begin with, coming down onto the back into a comfortable position. Oops, make sure you can see me. <laughs> And we're going to start with releasing the diaphragm into the rib cage. So um, I tend to use a thumb and uh, just working along the, in the edge of the rib, applying some firm pressure. And then just pausing at any points that feel tender. So remembering that how the more tender an area feels, the more shut down that area of the body is. So if it's quite tender, really work um, and spend some some time here because this is going to release into the diaphragm and help with the communication and connection with the psoas. And moving on to both the other side. Then we're going to come up the sternum, so the breastbone here, and then just apply some firm pressure, working all the way up to the neck, getting into those grisly points. Next up, we're going to uh, create some space, activate into the diaphragm through some breathing. So we take the analogy of a oxygen smoke, drawing in as much uh, oxygen in as you can, all into the belly, nothing in the chest. So your belly is going to inflate and rise like a balloon and then exhaling with a sigh, <sighs> letting go, letting the body just drop down in towards the ground. So I'm going to inhale. Exhale. And then continue for at least 10 breaths up to about 10 minutes. Next we're going to activate into the psoas. So Find the belly button and then find the top of the pelvis, the hip. And then what I do is I take a midway point or so draw a triangle there, find the midway point, take the thumb and press some firm pressure down and up onto the psoas point. Oh, and this can be quite tender as well. So just breathing through. And just knowing that the, the more you do these activations, the, um, the quicker the body starts to respond and also the um, less painful it becomes in time. And then moving on to the other side. So apply a firm pressure downwards, just moving it up and down. Once the cell is activated, we can move on to the opposing um, muscle into the, the glutes. So we're going to come now on into the jaw, so the back of the neck here, into the back of the neck. And then we find the point between the, just underneath the ear and um, where the ear and jaw connect. Oh, there's some really tender spots around there. So this helps to um, activate into the glutes. Working along there. Next, we're going to turning over onto the front. We're going to work into the activate the hamstrings. So here we're going to find the bony. Um, the bony bits that link the, the where the lower back connects to the hips into the sacroiliac joint and just pressing again downwards with the thumbs, pressing down and up, just stimulating to that point for 
about 15-20 seconds or so and again we can work all around that area into the glutes really applying some firm pressure for me this area is a uh, very tender as my hamstrings are a bit shut down at the moment so working all through the all the, around the area top of the glutes and around the sides Ooh. Next we're going to come into um, sternocleidomastoid points, so the muscle through the neck here. So we're going to find the collarbone and then take a couple of centimetres either side of the collarbone and slightly under and applying that pressure here just to activate. This helps really release into the neck. Again, stimulate for about 20 seconds. And then moving up to the jaw as well. So I find um, a lot of clients tend to hold a lot of tension in the jaw through stress, um, grinding teeth at night. Um, if you're holding a lot of tension in the neck and the shoulders, it tends to go into the jaw as well. So by releasing here, it really has a positive effect throughout the whole body as well. So when you're very tight through the jaw, a lot of the body um, muscle functions shut down. So just taking the fingertips and really just applying some firm pressure, releasing up the jaw. See from the side. I'd like to find the bite point here as well, just where the ear and the jaw uh, kind of connect if you're opening into the mouth. Stimulating this point here, very painful, and then we'll go into the temples as well. Feels quite um, painful, but kind of nice. Okay, so they're the main um, key points that I recommend to a lot of clients. And if you continue to work with this in between sessions, um, in between full activation sessions, before you, you train. Um, or even after you train in between your training sessions, then you'll you'll um, find that your body responds much more quickly and has that um, structural integrity intact. Thanks.